Hey everyone, welcome back to uh, StarCraft. We're gonna do some more Terran missions. Looking forward to it, and I have a story for this mission too. Receiving incoming transmission. Captain, Vice Admiral Stugan has informed me of your flawless sortie upon Braxis. I must commend you for beginning our campaign with such a decisive victory. Our attack teams have decrypted the Dominion's data link and have gained access to Ming's most guarded files. However, our work is not yet complete. We have ascertained the location of the Dilarian shipyards. These shipyards, serving as a fueling and repair station for the Dominion, house a number of functional battle cruisers in Drydock. To assure that our domination of this sector remains uncontested, you are to assault the shipyards and liberate as many of these capital ships as possible. Gentlemen, I recommend that you launch this attack using the utmost caution. Dominion Command can typically reinforce its outlying bases with its 16 standard arms. You should expect some sort of reprisal from Emperor Mengs shortly. Ah, the turn coat. I suggest that you pay keen attention to rank when you address the captain and myself, Lieutenant Duran. Is that understood? Of course, Admiral. some credit. He just tipped us off to a preeminent attack. However useful he may prove to be, Alexei, he will always be a traitor in my eyes. And you know that I cannot abide a traitor. Only too well, Gerard. Captain, when you are ready, you may commence with the operation. Once you have commandeered the enemy's battle cruisers, be prepared to repel the Dominion reinforcements when they arrive. You got it. All right, let's start the sucker. Once your forces have landed, Captain, you'll need to escort our pilots to the battle cruisers themselves. They will be able to commandeer the ships and turn them over to our control. All right, well, we're going to quickly adjust the volume again. And away we go. Oh, and they're invincible, too, so we can't kill them. So for those of you who didn't see that, these are medics. Um, what they can do is they heal up infantry when they take damage. So for now, like what that means is like we can stim our marines, and um, they get healed up. It's pretty good. They're also uh, very uh, hardy and durable, which is pretty good. You can see they have 60 HP and they have one extra infantry armor, so they're more durable than Marines, which is why I walked them over to um, the bunker first, and I let the Marines deal with it. I mean, of course, the other thing, too, we keep in mind is like our Marines are uh, fully upgraded, which uh, takes some of the pressure of us needing to do well. If these are like zero zero Marines, they'd be a much different story because they'd be taking a lot more damage. But uh, no, I was doing this mission, and I'll show you what happened. Basically, what ended up happening that poor unit control and um, disaster happens. But that's okay. Now that we know what we're doing. We can just get right in here and get the job done, so. Cool. One, two, three. So that'll be the end of that. Um, so I went to the dentist today. That was pretty exciting. Um, it wasn't bad. Some people really feared the dentist. I'm not one of those people. I, um... Like, the dentist is fine. Like, 
I don't necessarily like having the stuff thrown into my mouth, like when they're picking away like, the metal uh, picks and stuff. Like that, I'm not too big on. But like some people are just like they feel like going to the dentist's death. Uh, or it's like for me, like again, like it's kind of like eh, like whatever. But I don't fear the dentist. Also, maybe think is like, wow, this guy's really going fast. It's like, well, yeah, I literally, I honestly was playing this like not ten minutes ago, and then I um, made a mistake, and then I uh, had to redo it. I, I thought about like restarting the mission, recording that, but I was like, ah, I'm only ten minutes in. Where is the next tank? There you go, and that'll be it for this section. And so I came to the realization that they gave us some ghosts. We don't need them. We don't need the ghosts at all. Hey, and one thing I liked about the dentist too is that like I was just lying in the dentist chair, and uh, it was deceptively comfortable. Like, dude, I couldn't even can't go on about how comfortable they were. All right, so here's what happens. Actually, well, we'll do the first section first. Tell everyone else to hold position. All right, there you go. Um, so what happens, I didn't have this guy cloaked and then he wandered up here and the tanks killed him immediately. Oh, actually we're gonna watch the nuke go off. Cool. Uh, so he died, and then the the other ghosts ran up there, and then they got slaughtered, and the Marines and the Goliaths did the same thing, and they just, oh. They got slaughtered as well. It was really bad. Not a great time. Do that. And then we'll fire off on more new like this this part of the section isn't or this part of the mission I don't think is terribly hard. It was um I had a colossal on this fire though. And I also wish I could record, kept the recording, but um Sadly I did not. But I was like, ah I should just redo it. No 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 no. And I think I'll be it for all the tanks, so it should be a pretty easy go. Okay, then. We'll throw all the forces up there, and that'll be it. Yeah, so I don't know, like, what you... Oh, hmm. No, 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 no. If I could, like, not lose anyone, that'd be nice. So, about what you guys think of the dentist, I think, again, like, some people fear the dentist more than others. Like, but my dentist is pretty good, so that's why I'm not really having a verse reaction to the dentist. Like, I don't, like, seek him out. The other thing, too, is, like, I was able to leave work early today because I had a dentist appointment, so, like, that was pretty nice. Like, I'm not gonna lie, like, that feels pretty nice. And again, like the chair was nice. That was very comfortable. And, and like not much else to say. Like I didn't really have a um, a memorable experience, so to speak. And I don't mean that in, like it was bad. It was just more of like not much happened. All right, cool. That's why we um, we scout first. Alright, so we have those two. Um, yeah, actually, I want you to check this out too. 
Because of their mind, I want you to trip it. Nope. Alright, he should be okay. I think they put that mine there just so the um, he might trip it with a uh, civilian. Though the, the location of the mine isn't too uh, cumbersome or too worrying because it's um it's kind of well it's in the path where it's like it's likely that one of the other units would hit there for get there first for uh, the pilot because I don't think he wants to run up the ramp just the pilot first. So this is showcasing what medics can do, which is I think is an effective tutorial. Oh, the pilots are down there. Ooh. This might be difficult. Can the ghosts see up the ramps? No, they can't. Um Alright, well let's go scouting with the ghosts then. For a minute. Alright, so there is another tank down there. Um, we can probably just uh, auto fire him. Sorry, I'm 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 really focusing on the uh, the game here. Oh man, I just love this stuff. Mm. Oh, so I guess for as far as interesting stories go, I was gonna talk about the dentist, but it's like there's not really much to say. Like I went there, got my teeth cleaned, and it's like, yeah, your teeth look fine, man. It's like, okay, cool. Made the dentist laugh a little bit, so that's always a good sign. Makes you feel good. I mean, we've got 13 Valkyries, so I think we can technically beat this mission now, regardless of what happens. Alright, he got the first shot off, which is fine, but now we don't have the, um... He takes the damage, which is not good. Can he get that? I wonder. Alright. Get that first. And then get the tank. Alright, I think that went over pretty well. Though we have one low energy ghost. Oh, we have a lot of energy, we're fine. All right, and let's see what else the eye can see. Uh, I'm more. I want to lead with the ghosts because if they do take down. We can heal them up, which I think that's a pretty intuitive thought process. Okay, he can't get there without medic support, which is fine. So we're just gonna have to lead up or move the tanks up so they can hit the hit the bunker. Oh, sir, I don't know if I told my interesting story. I, I, Starcraft, I think, for me, is a little bit more uh, difficult to um, get my bearings on because uh, it's, I think it's a pretty mechanically de demanding game, but uh, I know I've done this before where I've you know, talked about whatever and um, played Starcraft at the same time. Um, I, I assuming you guys can, uh, walk up here. 
Oh! Where was that tank? Was that him? That must have been him. No, hold on. He must have been there. Yep, he was. Alright. All position, whole position. Ah! Yes, alright, don't die. So we have one tank up there. We have. The science vessel's taken care of. So that's good. So, he's got minutes worth of energy. There you go. Alright. So we're going to do this so we can conserve some energy for the ghosts, because we're going to need another lockdown for the tank up ahead, but we have four ghosts, and we're not doing too poorly on unit management, so I'm not super concerned. I, so it, it's occurred to me that I was like, oh, I'm going to tell the story, and I think I've said that twice now, so I haven't said anything. Uh, I saw a man get arrested today, which was uh, pretty new for me. I was going to say exciting, but it was more kind of like the realization that, man, I'm happy I'm not that guy. To be in a spot where it's like, wow, I just got arrested today. It's like, oh, I'm happy that hasn't happened to me. That'd be terrible. Could you imagine? That means I would be here playing StarCraft. Not a good time. Well, actually, this might be the last section. Because we already have 14 battle cruisers. And every battle cruiser we get on here is going to be icing on the cake. Let's actually get a siege tank over there. If we can. Actually, I'm gonna walk down him down one more time just for good measure. Don't get in range of the bunker. Nope. Alright, well that's fine. They're gonna take care of that anyways. And then the infantry should be easy pickings. All right, easy money. And let's over here one more tank. But I honestly think we just stim kill him and then uh, Bob's your uncle. Or actually, come just do this. Optical flare, let's go! Oh, you didn't even see the poor sucker. Alright, well, he's gonna be a pretty defensive siege tank, so I think we just, uh, we bum rush him with everything. Job done. And, yeah, there's nothing else for to tech or, uh, Pilots, you, sir, can go here, and I don't know where these ones are going off to, but that's all right. Yeah, that one should be just good, too. All right, so I'll be all fine and dandy, and I don't think there's anything down there we need to worry about. And I don't know if we should send all our forces at once. Yeah, no, we're fine. There you go. We are tracking a large fleet of Dominion ships in your vicinity. Uh, this must be the reinforcements that Lieutenant Duran warned us about. Captain, prepare our newly acquired fleet to battle the intruders. Make it happen. Healing frequencies open. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to make sure we have a nice concave. Actually, what we should... Hmm, I'm wondering how we should do this. I'm wondering if we just like try and stack them as much as possible. That might be a better idea.
All right. Class ours. Alright! That looks like they have a similar idea to me. We have your model cannons though, so we're. You also you need to get your butt in there, man. We did it! I think we only lost two Valkyries as well, so that's pretty good. Yay, so this ends that mission, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.